On the 12th May, I received a phone call from the house help that Natalia was accidentally burnt by another child while they were playing. It was alleged that she was pushed into hot tea that had been placed on the table. She was rushed to Mama Lucy Hospital, then referred to Kenyatta National Hospital, where she was admitted for six days and passed on. I love you, Natalia, so much, but God loved you more. I love you. I treasure you. I miss you. God gave me the best child, the most beautiful girl in the whole world, the most obedient, most loving, kind, caring, Natalia. I will forever cherish our moments together. May you, may you rest with the angels in heaven. Amen. 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 Kabla tupate huu mtoto nilikuwa na shida ya kazi nilikuwa nasumbuka na kazi nilikuwa nikipata kazi hata mali ya basi kutaka ili ni yeshibiwe taeni utemasha Hello, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm very hard working. I'm going to go to the house. Tawa katibi usiku anaenda wazini niko kwa nyumba. Alikuwa anamiambia tu usiku na wasiwasi. Mungu anatufungulia njia na Mungu alikuja akatufungulia njia. So huu ni mtoto mwenye tulikuwa na hopes kubwa sana naye kwa life. Na kumka hiyo siku tukienda na SGR. Alifurahi sana tukienda na yeye kwa train nini. Yeye hakuwa anajua mimi nilikuwa naenda. I think I'm going to do that was the last time I'm going to go to Angwa Kiwa High. Because since I'm going to Mombasa, I'm going to do a video call. I'm going to do a video call. So, I'm going to do a plan. Like, I'm going to do a video call. After that one month, I'm going to do a video call. 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 But I'm going to do a video call. I'm going to do a Hasa nikilala simu ikanishtua. Nilikuwa simu ya mama yake. Akapiga akilia, akakata simu. Alipiga akilia, akaniambia, "Mtoto amechomeka." Nikashtuka nikaamka. Nilishindwa nini naendelea. Nikampigia simu, hakuchukua. Nikapiga, hakuchukua. Nikapiga, hakuchukua. Nikaongojea kidogo, nikampigia, akachukua. Akanielezea mtoto amechomeka. Hapo hapo ndo nikaamka. Nilikuwa around saa moja ikielekea saa mbili. Nashindwa nini imefanyika hivi? Nikapigia huyo mfanyikazi simu mwenye alikuwa anatufanyia kazi. Nikamuuliza nini imefanyika? Akaniambia mtoto wako kwa hospitali na ameungua tu kidogo tu. Nikamwambia unaniambia ukweli akaniambia mtoto ameungua kidogo tu usikuwe na wasiwasi. Lakini nikakaa chini nikasema hapana. Mtoto 
kama mama yake amenipigia simu akilia hivyo mtu atajeongoa kitu. Nikapigia mama yake tena akachukua simu. Nikatumiwa picha za mtoto. Vile niliona hivyo nilishtuka sana kuona picha ya mtoto kwenye alikuwa ameongoa. Immediate nikapigia manager wetu nikamwambia mimi narudi Nairobi. Ilikuwa saa tatu. Nikachukua simu nikaangalia kama kuna gari naweza pata ya haraka. Nikaona gari itanichelewesha kwa barabara. Nikapata kuna train ilikuwa ka, bado ijatoka ilikuwa ya saa nne. Nilichukua taxi mpaka kwa train. Kufika saa tisa na nusu tukafika Nairobi. Nikampigia simu. Nikachukua train na kuja railways. Nikafika hospital. Wakati niliona mtoto wangu nilishtuka sana. Sikujua kama naweza toka Mombasa na hivi nipate mtoto wangu akiwa hiyo hali. Mtoto tulikuwa na hopes na mtoto ameenda mapema najua ni mipango ya Mungu lakini ni uchungu sana tukama hii tufanyikia kama sisi watu wenye kisa bado si ndio tulikuwa tunaanza maisha tu kwa hata tumefika mbali ndio tulikuwa tumeanza kusema acha tutengenezee mtoto maisha yake foundation si tulikuwa tunajinyima hata kazi nyingine unaweza kosa uweze nunua hata nguo mzuri ya kuvaa lakini unaacha mtoto wako akae maisha mzuri